Acute infections are the infections that we're most familiar with. So these are infections that, um, you know, from uh, cholera or you know, where we have dysentery, where we have bacteria in our gut and producing a lot of toxins, or in our bloodstream, they're growing rapidly. And if we don't get an you know, immediate um, treatment with antibiotics to kill these rapidly growing organisms, then we, we can, um, the, 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 that, that can be quite rapidly deadly. A meningococcus is kind of a, a, a well-known um, um, you know, acute infection. Now, the difference with, with biofilms, when, when the pathogens are in, a, in um, uh, existing um, as biofilms, they're not as virulent, they're growing slower. In fact, they almost go into a sort of a dormant state. And so what we see is this kind of long, um, lingering infection. Sometimes they might not even um, produce symptoms. So they might be there and we don't even know that they're there. Because they're, but because they're not growing rapidly. And actually what's interesting is part of the reason that they're resistant or tolerant, I should say, to antibiotics is because is the very reason that they're not growing rapidly. And antibiotics work best on uh, rapidly growing organisms. If the organism isn't doing anything, there's nothing for the antibody to attack. And so biofilms are most commonly associated with chronic infections.